Okay, hello and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Embry. I am the brand ambassador here at Travel Media Group. I want to first thank everyone for taking the opportunity to join me on this webinar this afternoon. Very excited to share this presentation and content with you all. At the end of this webinar, I will be providing my direct contact information in case you have any follow up questions with the content that I'm going to be sharing today. You could also use the chat feature, which is located right there in your toolbar. Type any sort of questions or feedback. I will be responding to those questions personally following the conclusion of the webinar. Also, be on the lookout since today's presentation will feature an interactive poll and would absolutely love your participation in it. Now, in today's webinar, we will cover what strategies hoteliers have put into place during the pandemic to start gaining a competitive advantage over local competition as the hotel industry pivots and starts to ramp up towards that road to recovery. And I wanna to start today by taking a look at the last four months at the start of the COVID pandemic for the US hotel industry. In March and April, the industry saw low, never, be never before seen numbers in almost every metric across the board. Occupancy, ADR, RevPAR, the decline was stiff, swift and steep. Hotels were scrambling to figure out how to fill rooms during a time when almost no one was traveling. As time went on, hoteliers started realizing that travelers weren't, weren't gonna come back until stay at home orders were lifted. You started to notice a shift in their strategy. Instead of focusing on the people that were traveling and filling their rooms, hotels started to turn their attention to the people that weren't targeting their message, messaging and marketing to travelers sitting at home, endlessly scrolling through their social media feeds, and researching and dreaming of all the places that they would, that they would visit first. Hotels during these months were using this time as an opportunity to plant seeds of recovery. Today, with a 10-week streak, streak of occupancy gains, hotels are seeing the fruits of that labor and are now transitioning their mindset from seeds of recovery to speed of recovery. Hotels are now seeking an edge on this race to recovery, and it's the hotels leveraging their digital marketing channels like social media, online reputation, and hotel vanity websites that are gonna come out on top and gain that competitive advantage. And some of the most fruitful seeds of recovery were planted by hoteliers on their different social media platforms. The COVID-19 pandemic evolved the ways hoteliers communicated with travelers and leveraged their social media profiles. The goals and objective of a hotel social strategy shifted as properties navigated the crisis. So today, let's check out three of those objectives and how they were utilized by hotels throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. The first objective is awareness. It doesn't matter if you're a franchise hotel or an independent. If travelers don't know you exist, you will never be chosen. Brand awareness helps extend reach and expand your hotel's online audience. Once a traveler is aware of you, they can now start to consider your hotel as an option. Consideration is the next objective and is measured by traffic and engagement on your, social me your hotel's social media profile page. And finally, conversion. For hotels, conversion simply equates to bookings. Call to action posts featuring links directly to your website are great examples of social media conversion. And every social media strategy includes elements of all three of these, most of the time equally incorporating awareness, consideration, and conversion. During this pandemic, however, hotels have had to adapt and evolve how best to leverage their social media pages to position themselves for rapid recovery. Let's see how. Now in March, at the beginning of this pandemic, as states started implementing the stay-at-home orders, hoteliers recognized the average everyday traveler was not in the planning or purchasing phase of the booking journey. So instead, hoteliers use this time to increase brand awareness for their hotel. We at Travel Media worked with properties to focus on empathetic messaging and gratitude posts to our frontline healthcare workers. And it was the popularity of these posts 
these types of posts during this time, which expanded our hotel partners' online reach and audience. As we moved into April, May, we continue to evolve their, our partners' social strategy by emphasizing consideration. At this point in the pandemic, travelers were starting to think about traveling again and were anxious to start planning. We fed that appetite by posting about the operational changes and guest safety precautions that the hotel was implementing so that when travelers did start to do their research, they would consider and ultimately choose our hotel partners first. Our consideration post included virtual tours of the properties. Uh, one property featured a to-go brunch um, to promote social distancing and an, uh, an introduction of new cleaning standards by the hotel. This all set up for the last and final stage of the social strategy, conversion. So at this point in the pandemic, we've made new travelers aware of our hotel partners' properties, expanding their reach online, and we've positioned them as the best and safest option for their return to travel. Now it's time to convert them as bookings and revenue. We accomplished this by sharing things to do in the area while including a direct link to the property's booking site. We share experiences of travelers that have recently stayed at the property, and we start to set new normal expectations of what travelers can anticipate when they return to the property. It's setting these expectations, which is absolutely critical to the success and recovery of a hotel during this time. And I wanna go a little bit more in depth of what setting that expectations means to a traveler and how it impacts bookings. Now this illustration of your lobby might have look, this is my, might have looked like a busy holiday weekend pre-COVID-19. For a traveler then, this scene might have been described as crowded and busy. But for a traveler in today's climate, this scene is considered unsafe and potentially dangerous. Without setting the new expectation of what travelers will see upon arrival to your hotel, this scene might be what travelers are imagining in their heads. Hotels have worked hard to make these necessary changes to ensure the safety of both travelers and their staff, and it's time to showcase it. Social media is the perfect channel in order to, to do so. We help create social media posts that highlight all the changes that have been implemented at the property. Even the smallest details can be captured, shared, and eventually transform a traveler's expectations as they consider booking with your property. The more you post and share with them what this new normal will look like at the hotel, the more the traveler's comfort level increases and their willingness to book with you. And we've been hearing a lot of, uh, recently about this new normal hotel experience and what it's starting to look like. Recently, I had the honor of interviewing Jan Fleitag, Senior Vice President of Lodging Insights at STR, on Travel Media Group's digital marketing podcast, The Sweet Spot. And I asked Jan, do you see any parts of the hotel experience become part of the new normal as travelers start to arrive? And he responded, it's going to go from high touch to high tech. As more and more travelers start returning back to our hotels, a five-star experience at a property could look completely different from before, and hoteliers need to be ready to adapt. For example, the content in a five-star review written by a hotel guest pre-COVID could include elements like, the GM greeted every guest individually and shook their hands. The lobby was crowded, but check-in was fast and easy. We called the front desk for extra toiletries and the staff hand-delivered them to us in no time at all. And the breakfast buffet was great. There was plenty of staff helping guests. Now, prior to COVID-19, if you saw any of this feedback within one of your hotel's online reviews, you and your team would be ecstatic and would most likely be associated with a four or five star rating. Today, some of those same terms and phrases used in these comments could significantly negative, uh, negatively impact your business. If travelers read these reviews from recent guests that show the hotel has not implemented the necessary safety precautions expected, it sets a different type of new normal hotel experience than imagined. At this point, it does not matter what the review rating is, 
you've lost the trust and decreased the consumer's comfort level in booking with your property. So, what are some examples of the type of content we should be looking for in generating on online review sites today? For that, let's look at what the five-star hotel experience might sound like online post-COVID-19. There was plenty of hand sanitizer at the property. Although the lobby was crowded, the staff made sure guests kept their distance and was plenty of room for us to check in safely. We messaged everything we needed via social media, the staff delivered it and left it outside our door in no time at all. And the property provided a breakfast on the go to avoid close interaction with other guests and staff. This is the type of content and online review feedback that is critical to gaining a competitive edge over your local competition. Think about it, every hotel right now is posting and sharing online the changes that they've made since the start of this pandemic. But it's when travelers publicly take note of these changes where it really moves the occupancy needle and incre increases con consumer comfort levels to a point where they choose you over the competition. So what happens when we implement this strategy from start to finish? We set the right traveler expectations by utilizing those three objectives of social media, and we deliver on that service promise by providing the five-star new normal hotel experience. And perhaps the best way to illustrate what happens is to look at the popular children's game, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Now for this example, we'll call it Hungry Hungry Hotels. Now for those of you on this call who are not familiar, the objective of the game is to collect as many pearls as possible by pressing your hippo's lever and extending its mouth towards the center. The more times you hit the lever, the more opportunity you have to capture pearls. The hippo with the most pearl at the end of the game wins. Now the same is gonna be true with hotels competing for travelers. As more and more travelers start to, to emerge and enter the market, hotels are gonna be battling for the opportunity to capture them. So how do we press that lever? extend our hotel's reach, and capture more market share than the competition. That's where our social media and online reputation strategy comes into play. As you watch this, I want you to imagine that every time you see an extension, that hotel is either expanding its reach by posting on social media or increasing consumer comfort level by generating a positive online review. Notice how some of the hotels are moving faster or slower than others. And that's because right now, hotel, some hotels are just sitting back and waiting for travelers to come to them instead of hitting that lever, reaching out, and reestablishing their hotel as the market share leader in this post-COVID hotel world. And as we look at the final results of the game, you can see the correlation between the hotels that were actively extending reach to travelers and market share. The yellow hotel was inactive on both social media and online review sites, experienced the least amount of market share. The Green Hotel was a little bit more active, captured a little bit more market share by occasionally asking uh, for reviews from guests. But once posted, the hotel couldn't find the time to respond to them. Now the Blue Hotel was able to capture uh, more market share than both the yellow and the green by posting occasionally on social media and responding to some of the online reviews, but in the end still leaves a lot of occupancy left on the table. And finally, the Pink Hotel, which consistently posts four times a week on all social media sites, uses post-day emails to earn positive reviews and feedback, and responds to every online review professionally and timely. Now, although this hotel is not the newest and the nicest or most highly rated in the market, the Pink Hotel, by leveraging these strategies, was able to capture the most market share and revenue as travelers started to re-enter the market uh, from stay-at-home orders. So as you take a look at this, ask yourself, which hotel are you right now in this game? And which hotel do you want to be on the ultimate road to recovery? Travel media group throughout the pandemic has helped hotels extend reach and capture more revenue, jumpstarting them on the road to inevitable recovery. So as I mentioned at the beginning, 
Uh, we do have an interactive poll. I'll go ahead and launch that now um, to see if there's any individual hotels or group of hotels that would like Travel Media Group's help in reaching a bigger traveler audience and ultimately capturing a larger market share. We help, uh, we help hotels with social media, reputation management, Vanity Hotel websites, everything that we talked about today to help extend your reach and capture more market share. So I'll go ahead and give everyone a quick opportunity to find that poll and engage in it. Um, if you did show up a little bit later, I saw that we had a couple of attendees showing up a little bit later. We do send out recordings of this, um, so you uh, be on the lookout for those. You can also find all of our webinars on our Travel Media Group YouTube page. In a second here, I will be sharing my direct contact information. I'll just give everyone a couple more seconds to find this poll. All right, awesome. If you answered yes, we will be reaching out to you shortly. I know we're right in the middle of our summer months, so we wanna definitely make sure that you're prepared to getting that occupancy and market share. So as promised, here is my direct contact information in case you had any uh, follow-up questions. That's my direct line as well as my direct email. We are gonna be continuing our 2020 educational webinar series uh, at Travel Media Group, we created a brand new reputation metric called First Impression Score. We're super, super excited about it, and we're going to be talking all about it next month. So be sure to sign up for that. It's called Win More Guests with a Great First Impression. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to join me on this webinar, um, and we will talk to you next time. Thank you so much, and have a great week.